But some will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by my works will show you my faith. You believe that God is one. You do well. God is one. Even the demons believe and shudder. So think about that. Even the demons have faith, but they don't have love. This is why everyone should read the Divine Comedy, especially the Inferno. Remember the first time I ever read it was when I was, I was in a high school student and it was in Lent. I decided to do it in Lent. John Chiardi's translation. There's no love. There's only, there's no silence either in hell, according to Dante. There's no love. There's just noise. And people want running around in circles. And their evil actions have come back to haunt them. But when we finally get to paradise, we end off with the love that moves the sun and all the stars. And that's the end of the Divine Comedy. And it is the end of life. It is what we're all here for. The demons believe without love and shudder. So do you want to be shown, you shallow man, that faith apart from works is barren? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar? You see that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by works. And the scripture which fulfilled, which says Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. And in the same way was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way? For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so faith apart from works is dead. And so for the second time he says that. The killer word is alone. Which facet of the diamond makes the diamond? We can't ask that question because it misses the point. There's one diamond, many facets, looking into the mystery and the beauty within. And so faith, hope, and love, they're all there, all one, undivided, in fact, and lived in our lives. So faith together with works, with love, faith, hope, and love. This is what we're called to. Be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who observes his natural face in a mirror, for he observes himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But he who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer that forgets but a doer that acts, he shall be blessed in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, this man's religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. My brethren, show no partiality as you hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man with gold rings and in fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, have a seat here, please, while you say to the poor man, stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brethren, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him. 
But you have dishonored the poor man. Is it not the rich who oppress you? Is it not they who drag you into court? Is it not they who blaspheme the honorable name which was invoked over you? If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty of all of it. For he who said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. If you do not commit adultery but do kill, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so act as those who are to be judged under the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Yet mercy triumphs over judgment. What does it profit, my brethren, if a man says he has faith but has not works? Can his faith save him? If a brother or sister is ill-clad and in lack of daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warm and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what does it profit? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I, by my works, will show you my faith. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Do you want to be shown, you shallow man, that faith apart from works is barren? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar? You see that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by works. And the scripture was fulfilled which says Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. And in the same way was not also Rahab the harlot justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so faith apart from works is dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>